Hello, buongiorno, ciao. I'm Ricardo Silva, and I'm sorry that I'm not sharing my time with you today presentially, but I'm here online, and I would be happy to address all your questions at the end of the session. So today I'm going to be talking about a startup uh, initiative that I'm working with. This startup is something that we put together with a great team of colleagues and collaborators. Here you can see the leading group, and what we are trying to accomplish is actually radically change and transform the way we currently practice healthcare. So we want to move from the current system, from the current model of sick care, to a model where we are doing predictive care. We want to treat the disease before it actually happens. So for that, we have been able to foster a lot of cognitive intelligence that has been in practice for over 15 years that allow us to predict with three years onset when a disease is going to happen. And with that information, we can do something about it before it begins. There's a problem, however. Current healthcare is broken. It's siloed. So each part of the puzzle is divided into a different container. And those containers are actually not talking to each other properly. We have something called a health information exchange that tries to couple the information from different sources, but it's truly not doing a complete job. So at the end, what we have is a disaggregated system where information from a patient can host in three, four, five repositories, and no one has a complete picture. So how can you predict if you don't even know what is there to have? So the goal of our project is to have evidence-based practice that draws from the best information outside. We can do that information through a knowledge cloud. We can gather, for example, we have a patient that has uh, <clears throat> predictive condition for colon cancer. So our system predicts that this patient could potentially develop colon cancer. So we could send a preemptive colonoscopy. We could get the results from the colonoscopy. We could get that information into our cognitive AI. And from that information, we could develop a strategy to prevent the symptoms before they actually happen by changing habits, by changing food, by providing some additional medicinal supplements. So again, to put all of this together, we need to integrate a healthcare system that currently doesn't exist. Fortunately for us, the United States has come up with something that they called TEFCA. That's a Trusted Exchange Framework and Common Agreement. And within TEFCA, the idea is to assemble something called a Quality Integrated Health Network. This is our approach to this quality integrated health network. So in the center of the network, we're going to have a cloud-based single data repository where electronic health record information from different vendors and providers can actually be aggregated into a single repository. This system will fluently speak the new FHIR standard so that internet of medical devices, third-party applications, and home care uh, devices, internet of medical things, can all connect to the database. Labs and images could also be uploaded into this single data repository. So with a single unified picture of an individual, we can use that information to coach, to train. We can use the member community support through the patient portal. The patient portal is device agnostic, so it doesn't matter what device you have, you should be able to access. And at the other side, the administrators of the system will also have a full picture of everything that is happening within the network. At the end, we want to increase the efficiency and productivity of healthcare. We want to improve the quality, measuring patient outcomes, and patient satisfaction. We want to reduce the healthcare costs by integrating everything into this single platform, improve healthcare access by using appropriate technologies such as telemedicine, online scheduling, everything in one single uh, calendar option platform. 
That should also improve coordination and continuity of care, closing what are called care gaps, improve medical education for both the physicians and the patients, because they're all in the same page working as a team, and ideally standardize medical care. So that is what we're actually building nowadays. We still have not deployed any of our solutions, but hopefully by the end of the year, we would have something going. So this is my contact information, and I would be happy to address any questions. Thank you.